Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. In this video I'm going to explain how I created the texture brush that you've seen me use in my previous videos and my recent digital artwork. Now since I'm creating this video there is some lag so please be patient. This is Sketchbook Pro that I am using and if you have the um, brush palette open, you can go to the brush library by clicking on like this icon here. And you can see that I'm currently in the basic set. This is a set that comes with the downloaded version of Sketchbook Pro. And I also have some custom brushes in here already. For instance, this um, paint brush with 100% opacity, um, this ink pen, watercolor pencil, and of course, my own texture brush. Um, the reason why these are in here is because I um, don't, I, I pretty much like the way the basic set looks and I don't want to change this every time to a new um, set of brushes so I just copy them and put them in my basic set. Now for the start of um, this tutorial you um, will have to find the paintbrush because that is the default setting that I am going to copy to create the texture brush and you can do that by clicking on the paintbrush and then copying it so now you've created a copy it says paintbrush copy and if you double click this it will open the brush properties where you can change the name to something that you like tutorial texture brush for instance and if you want you can change the icon as well I haven't really created custom icons um, so I just put an M so that I know that it's my name for the purpose of this tutorial I'm just gonna pick a T to make to show you um, the difference now these are all the default settings of the paintbrush and you want to go and find, I don't know, texture. Somewhere it's here. It says texture. And I have been playing around with textures that I've downloaded um, from, from um, like images, but I was never really happy and then I kind of started playing around with this one. As you saw that this one was already a default. Now since I have a lot of other um, brush sets already in my brush library, I'm not entirely sure if this texture came with the default um, installation of Sketchbook Pro. If it didn't, you can always go to their website and download other brush sets for free and figure out where this one came from because I'm not sure. So here in the top you can see what it currently looks like and you can still change it and that's what I like. If you, for instance, I like the scale a little bit bigger <laughs> because I just like the grainy effect of it. Again, this is something that you can change whenever you want. And I will also put a screenshot of the settings of my current brush um, at the end of this video so that you can pause it and just copy everything exactly. Um, if you want, you can also export it, but I don't really have the option to share um, the exported file with you so currently that's the only way that I can um, make sure that you have the exact same settings that I do. So the scale, I changed it a bit. I think 
as far as the settings go that this is the only thing that I really changed maybe the pressure but I like it simple so and now I'm going to show you why I like this texture and not the previous textures that I have created so if we zoom in a little Um, I'm going to change the size of this brush. Now, the size of the brush does not change the size of the texture. So, if I have this size and I go larger, it will still be the same size of texture. So, if you do want to change the size of the texture, you will have to go back to the brush properties and change the scale of it. like this. Now what I like about this texture compared to the other ones is the fact that it was it still looks beautiful when you layer it. So if I go back and make the scale a little bit smaller you can go over it multiple times and I'm releasing um, my pressure so I create different layers. You can see that the white in the texture remains white no matter how many times I go over it. So the texture remains. I also created a different texture in the past with an image of like burlap i think i think i googled burlap and created yeah burlap and i created um this texture with it and it doesn't really have that many white areas meaning that the the contrast like i said here isn't as great as with the other brush and i will show you the difference. This a bit bigger. Wait, I'm gonna change the setting so that no, that wasn't it. Where is it? Where is the one that changes the size? Where is it? Ah, here it is. Okay, that's a bit better. So I'm gonna make this bigger and I'm gonna start layering it. Again with a lag. The more I go over it, the more saturated it becomes and eventually it will almost turn completely black and have no texture in it at all. And I, that's why I didn't like this texture. So if you use one that is custom, just play around with it and, and see what it does. See, like, you cannot even tell that there is an actual texture in there anymore. I'm gonna try and change the contrast, because maybe it can be prevented. But then, of course, you, you sort of lose the feel of what it actually is. Maybe this will work better. I don't know, let's try it.
That seems to work a little bit better. So now the last thing I'm gonna try and do is change the scale. So yeah, this is what you um, get. I, I still prefer this one over this one. Um, it is something that is a preference for everyone that is completely different. You need to create the brush that you like, but if you don't want to and you want to use mine, you're totally free to do so. Because I haven't found a way to make my brush available as a download, here are the settings that I've used for my custom brush. If you liked this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, you can always leave them in the comments below. If you haven't seen the artwork that I've created with this brush yet, here are some examples. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, 